All right, so I was just mentioning, and I'll mention again real quick that if you're on the live workouts, you'll get credit. In fact, Shelly's checking you in right now. And if uh, you're watching this on the recording, um, the bonus is you're getting in the workout, but the credit comes on the lives. So at 9.30 and 5.30, uh, of course, remember Saturdays are only 9.30. Sunday's a day of rest. We beat up your body for six days. Sunday, go out and go for a walk or go hike if you can. You know, we're kind of limited, but get that right there. Uh, so let's see. Tell them we use the channel. Yeah, 16 folks so far. Um, but this started any second, but don't forget if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please make that. That way, if you miss one of these workouts, one of the lives, then you are uh, going to be notified via email uh, when you upload a new video. As long as your YouTube notifications are set to uh, notify once we post something. So, Remember, subscribe on our YouTube channel. All right, here we go. I think it's about time we get it going. It's after 9.30, so let's do this. Get upper body day today, and what we're gonna do is uh, leave those legs alone. Let's see, it was Friday and Saturday, and you spread your legs like crazy. So today, we're gonna do, I know you have Sunday day of rest, we give those legs another day of rest and we're going to beat up the upper body. If we have a little while. So let's get into it. And Michelle, if you can control it. Yes, we're going to mute you guys. I'm sorry. What's up, Liz? Hey, good morning. Good morning. All right, so glad to see we all got things working. We're all up in action here, ready to go. So we're gonna get it going. I believe it's uh, about time. If anyone scrolls in late, they're lost. Here we go, let's do it. We're gonna start with your arm circles and butt kicks. Now, I told you we were gonna work some uh, upper body today. We're gonna call today's workout in the, for the sake of some fun and uh, given the times, today's Armageddon. So we're gonna work here. I hope you guys have a sense of humor like me where you can uh, find the humor in that. What we're gonna do is beat up the shoulders, the arms, and uh, let's see, upper back a little bit, but uh, you guys get a great workout here. today. All right, so it's gonna be uh, what's called EMOM. That stands for every minute on the minute. You're gonna do an exercise for one minute and then switch right to another exercise for a whole minute, over and over, just like that. All right, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and I'm gonna show you the uh, workout, the exercises now, but first let's switch to a squat and shirt ripper. Really squeeze your back muscles on that shirt ripper. Make sure you're focusing today on the muscles we're working, being very diligent about our uh, the mind's muscle connection. So what you guys do is keep going on the squat and shirt rippers. I'll show you our first exercise. This one's called a leg resisted bicep curl. You can do this one seated, or standing, or up against the wall. I'm gonna show you up against the wall. So you're going to grab one leg, just like so, with your hand, and pull it up, and back down slowly, over and over. Notice I've got my hand on the couch for balance, just to make sure I don't fall, but up and down. Or you can get more challenged by just holding it up, nice and high. You're gonna get a good stretch right through the piriformis muscle here. At the halfway marker, I'll tell you when to switch. We'll go other side, up, and down, up, and down. All right, guys, why don't you go ahead and switch now to your next warm up, which is a reverse lunge and reach. While you're doing that, let me show you that leg resisted bicep curl seated. Same exact thing, just down on having a seat, and you grab your ankle or your foot here, you're gonna curl up using your elbow pressed against your leg. Up and down, up and down. If you must, you can use dumbbells instead, but um, I encourage you guys to give this one a shot. You're gonna find that you'll get a great stretch through the piriformis, but you also get a good bicep contraction at the top, just like so. All right, so 
That's exercise one. Exercise two is modified Superman. So you're gonna go down on the ground. We're gonna do the Superman, but rather lifting your arms up straight up uh, in front of you, you're gonna lift them up towards the side, like a plane soaring through the air. Pinkies are up, thumbs are down. You can go up and down, over and over, or you can just hold it at the top for the whole minute. And then after that, we go right to your next exercise, which I'll show you after you switch to your last warm up, jacks. All right, so exercise three is called a Spider-Man push-up. Level one, hands are on the wall. You're gonna go down to the wall, bring a knee up to your elbow, and push back. Other side, push back, over and over. Now a little tougher is gonna be hands down a little bit lower, just like so. Go down, bring your knee to elbow, and push back. Other side, over and over. Now the lower my hands are positioned, the tougher it gets. So I want you guys to take it from the wall down to this level if you can. Or if that's not tough enough for you, go down to a little lower level. Hands even lower than that. Over and over for a full minute. Last thing we've got your uh, version or level number four is the same exact thing, but on the ground. So as always, choose the level that's right for you. Now we've got one more exercise to show you. That's exercise number four. You'll drop it down into a wall sit. You'll hold your arms straight out to the sides. If you'd like more challenge, just grab onto a water bottle in each hand or a wine bottle or a beer bottle or whatever you've got handy, or maybe even some light weights and hold it right there. Preferably your palms face down on that exercise though. Those are your four exercises. If you've got questions now, hold on to those questions. You guys are done with your warm up. Go ahead and relax. If you have questions, hold on to them and just catch up as we get through our first round of these four exercises. All right, remember it's a minute on for each exercise until we get through all four. Then we'll stop and we'll take a break. So here we go. I'm gonna get you guys going in a couple of seconds here. Get ready, get set. We've got leg resisted bicep curl. Again, standing on the wall or hand on the couch. Here we go, it's gonna be up and down or hold, starting in three, two, begin. Let's go. All right, you can hold it right here. I get a good bicep contraction at the top, just like this. Or you can go up and down, you choose. There we go, it's a slow and controlled exercise. We're not starting out too hot and heavy here in your first exercise today. But that's okay. We're just trying to really focus on building that bicep muscle right here. There we go. Looks like some people have got a dumbbell action going on. Hopefully you've got good enough flexibility to get into this position. If not, it's going to improve your flexibility. Let's go ahead and switch. Other side. There we go. Up and down. Or up and hold. There we go. Forward strong right now. Feeling that bicep, feeling that bicep, knowing that that's what's doing the job. What you can do to get more challenge out of this one is use that leg to push down into your hand. I'm not pushing with this arm, I'm just pushing that leg down into my hand. Hanging up for six more seconds now. It's gonna be down to the ground for modified supermans in three, two, one, to the ground. Here we go. On your belly, arms are straight up to your sides. Here we go, like a plane soaring through the air. Get those Hands up high, straight out to the side. Squeeze those back muscles, those glutes, and of course, the back of your shoulders is what we're really going for here. Squeeze the back of those shoulders. If you need a brief momentary break, you go down, and then back up when you can. Hold strong, we've got 28 more seconds. There we go, make sure you're breathing. Really get those arms up even higher. Get the extra inch up there even a little bit further. That last little bit matters. We're going to Spider-Man push-ups next. Go to the wall for a level one. Go to the end of your couch or a higher ledge, maybe a counter for a level two. And then we've got a lower position in three, two, one. Let's go, here we go, Spider-Man push-up. Hands on something for support, go down. Elbow and knee together. Other side. You might get a little twist in there. Easy, 
There we go, 35 seconds to go now. Make sure you've got the right level of challenge. Keep going here for 23 more seconds. So you see from another angle, looks like so. Down, knee to elbow, hand up. Other side, with wherever your hands are on the wall, maybe they're on the side of your couch, front of your couch, on a chair, on the ground. We're gonna go wall sit with lateral raise in four, three, two, to the wall. Let's go. And hold. If you want to get a little bit more leg action, drop it down a little bit, get a little leg up, leg down. That's up to you. Otherwise, hold strong right there. Shoulders up to be burning right now. If they're burning like crazy, then you can go down. And up. And down. And up. But if you've got the energy, go ahead and hold them right here. You can even hold on to extra weight if you'd like, right in your hands. Try to keep those palms facing down if you can. We're going to take a break in 22 seconds. Woo! But right now, hold strong for 20. How are they doing, Shelly? Looking good. Are we uh, yep. able to see some wall sets? Yeah, nice, slow, good ones. Mm -hmm. Eight seconds left. Right at shoulder height. Those arms are straight out to your sides. For three, two, and one. That's a wrap on round number one, everybody. Great job. Take a little breather, get a little water, stretch it out, shake it out, whatever you gotta do. Just take a little time, and we'll get back together here for round number two shortly. Now, I can just hear you guys on the other end of that muted speaker right now, that muted microphone. You're probably saying, how many rounds of this are we gonna do today? Well, that was one down. Consider it a basketball game. Four quarters to a game. You got one quarter down, three quarters to go. And do that same thing. So that means pick the right level of challenge for you. Challenge yourselves like crazy in the beginning. Here in round number one and round number two. And then as the rounds go on, if you've got to back it up, be my guest. Decrease that challenge. That just means that your if your muscles are that tired that you can't do it properly, great. Decrease the challenge and still do it properly. All right, here we go. Back to those four exercises. We've got leg resistant bicep curl. You can do it standing or you can do it seated. In three, here we go. Get ready. In two, one, begin. So you're gonna go up and down if you'd like. You can add more challenge by using the leg to push down. That's up to you. You can even hold up. What I don't wanna see you do is crank your ankle like so. Let's keep it nice and flat. What if you can only feel it in your forearm? Uh, then you should try the other leg. You might have the wrong leg. So if you go right hand to left leg, that'll get more bicep and less of the forearm. Let's go ahead and switch, other side. And if you're not flexible enough, leaning back might be too tough, lean forward a little bit. That leg doesn't have to look this high off the ground, and that should help. Again, up and down if you can, or hold it if you're ready for that. Finding the level that's right for you, get a good challenge out of that bicep muscle for eight more seconds. Now, after this, we're down to that modified Superman. Don't forget, arms up to your sides in three, two, one, down to the ground. I'll show you that bold head now. Good. Now notice how my pinkies are up. And my thumbs are down. Making sure we're breathing. We've got everything up, off the ground. You can go down for a brief moment if you need to, but then you go back up as soon as you can. Now, my hands are pretty high right now, but to get more out of this, you raise them even higher. That's how you really get the back of those shoulders fired up, and that's what we want. There's little tiny muscles in the back of your shoulder that we're working for 22 more seconds. Here we go. How are we doing? I see Danielle crushing it over there. Yeah, get those arms up. 12 seconds now. Keep it going, keep going here. 
seven seconds. After this, it's back to that Spider-Man push-up in five. Find the right level of ledge for you in three, two, one. Let's go. Knee on, sorry, knee to the elbow. And other side. Up and down, knee to the elbow. Up and down, knee to the elbow. That's it. As always, choose right level for you. That means hands on the ground might be too tough. I want nobody on their knees, okay? No one's on their knees. You're on your feet here. Now, that doesn't mean you have to be on the ground, though. You can go hands up on a ledge. That's higher. Or you can go hands on the wall, hands on a counter. Whatever you need to do to keep it under control and to do it safely. No pain in the shoulders. A little bit of burn is great. But any stabbing pain, avoid at all costs. 12 more seconds now. Woo. Oh, yeah. Keep it up. We're going back to that wall sit for your last exercise. Wall sit with lateral raise in four, three, two, and straight to it. Let's go. All right, drop it down. Wall sit, lateral raise. Let's see if we have any pain here in the shoulders. What you can do is go with arms out in front. I suggest not doing this one if you don't have to. Switching it and keeping it the arms out to the sides is good if we can. Yeah. How's that looking, Chell? Pretty good. Yep. Yep. I see. T's working over there. Yep. Christine, Grace, Danielle. Yep. Shoulders screaming. Ten more seconds now. Jim, we'll take a break after this. Hold them up there for five. Take that. Three, two, one. Good job. Enjoy a little time off here. We've got round two cut round two complete. We're at halftime right now. Round three coming up shortly. Do you change it so you can see them all? Hmm? Do you change it so you can see them all on You can. Oh, you have them in gallery view? No. Oh. Whatever view you have. Cool. So, if uh, you feel it a lot in the shoulders, here's a good little stretch for you. Myself, I've always had a bit of a shoulder issue um, in, since high school, and so I definitely feel these exercises burning up that shoulder. So I get a good little stretch here. Yes, absolutely. You can um, adjust the exercises if you must. Of course, you always are able to re, uh, readjust these exercises. If you need to add dumbbells or add a resistance band, be my guest. But if uh, you have no equipment, this shall get it done. Here we go. Let's get back to it. We've got round number three coming up in about five seconds. Let's get to that seated position or to the wall. In four, three, two, and one. Let's get to it. There we go. So right now, I've got my left arm holding my left leg. That works, but my hand is turned a little bit. So that makes more forearm work. What I'm gonna do here is switch to the other leg. Left arm is working, my right holding my right leg in my hand. So that's gonna make sure the bicep's working a lot more than the forearm. But you know what time it is? Time to switch to the other leg, other hand. There you go. If you're standing and you stand up tall, it's gonna be a tougher stretch for the piriformis muscle. If you're not that flexible, take it down low. 10 more seconds here. I'm gonna go up and down, be my guest. For me, I get good squeeze out of that bicep by holding it up at the top. All right. Back down to modify Superman's in three, two, one, down to the ground. There we go. No show, that's not important. Yep. All right, keep those legs up. Not bent. Those legs straight. Arms straight out to your sides. Not back here if you can help it. Back here is going to be easier. Up here, working different muscles. Let's keep it straight up to the side. 
know you're on your stomach, so breathing might be tough. Make sure that air is coming in and out. 20 seconds now. And it's back to our Spider-Man push-up. Keep it up high, keep it up. 10 more seconds now. Hands up. Six to go, battle through it. Spider-Man push-ups in three, two, one. Let's get to it, here we go. Find the ledge, that's the right height for you. Down, elbow to knee, and back. Other side, down, knee up, and back. Other side, and back. That's it. Again, if you challenged yourself so much in the early rounds that you have to back up the challenge in order to get through it safely, then great job. I'm happy about that. That's not a sign of weakness. That's a sign of you're pushing your body to its limits and forcing it to get stronger. And that's great. It's all about your level and increasing your level from where it was yesterday. Five to go. Four seconds. It's wall set in three, two, and one. Here we go. All right, arms are up. You can go down and up if you'd like. If you're ready for more challenge, so hold it up there the whole time. That's up to you guys. And if you feel like really working those legs, you can take it down lower and get a single leg action going while you're at it. Again, that's up to you, but what we don't want to lose sight of is focusing on those shoulders. Got uh, see Christine working over there. Nice. Is that Emmy? Irma? Right. Eight seconds left now. Keep it up, keep it up for just three, two, and rest. Great job. Three rounds down. Two more. One more round. All right, let's do a little grid view. Let's do grid view here. I want to see how you guys doing. Thumbs up if you're getting a good workout so far. Thumbs down if it's way too easy. Thumbs up, thumbs up. All right, good deal. Grace, Irma, Shelly, we got some Yaxinator. Two thumbs up. Sarah, all right. Here we go. So, we've only got to knock out one more round. With your last round, make sure that you find the right challenge. If it was if you're able to execute the challenge you were at just fine and you think you can increase, please don't hesitate to increase that challenge. Make sure that you bump it up to the next higher level or add a little weight if you need to in those supermans, those modified supermans, or on the wall set. All right, that sound right there was our cue. So it's about time to get back to it. Let me back up the timer and let's get going. We've got round number four, your last round starting in five. Here we go. Let's grab that. Seat or the wall, whatever works for you. Grab that leg, and we've got the bicep curl hold in three, two, one. Let's get to it. Here we go. All right. So, if I turn this way, you'll see my elbow is propped up against my leg. On this one, if we're still uh, practicing the technique, elbow is propped up on the leg. Lift that arm up nice, or lift that leg up nice and high. Use that leg to push down. If you're ready for that extra challenge, really push that leg down if you can. Again, there are five more seconds here. Four seconds. Three, two, switch legs, other side, and switch arms. There you go. Again, using that leg to support the elbow. And that other leg here, pushing down into the hand. 15 seconds now. Remember, after this is that modified Superman. We'll give Coach Hobby and Coach Mike credit for coming up with the modified Superman. Here we go. It's down to the ground in three, two, one, to the ground. We've got modified Superman. Here we go. Arms straight up to the side. Pinkies up, thumbs are down.
Remember to breathe. All right, hold strong like a plane. The good news is if you were a plane right now, it would be nice and light. You don't have anyone on you. 30 seconds to go. Last time on this exercise. Really get those hands up. The key here is to work the back of your shoulders. You should feel it, be feeling this little muscle right here. The way you do that is get that hands up, that extra half inch. Get them up there for 15 more seconds. You got this. Hold strong now. And then after this, it's back to our Spider-Man push-ups. Want that knee coming up to the elbow in eight seconds. Give yourselves a nice challenge here in five. Let's get to it in four, three, two, and Spider-Man push-ups. Let's go. Choose the left one's right for you. Make sure to breathe. If it gets too challenging at any point, you keep your form solid. Take those hands up to a higher level. Maybe that means going up to the wall. That's perfectly fine. Make sure your form stays high quality. You're still able to go up and down. 12 more seconds now. It's going to be that wall sit with the lateral raise in eight. Make that three, two, and one. Here we go. Last exercise of the Imam. Be every minute on the minute. Woo. Good job today. 20 seconds down. Ready to go in your last exercise. If you're ready for more challenges, hold them. I'm going to go up and down. My shoulders are on fire. 0.5 seconds now. Oh, there we go. Looks like we got a nice full house here. 15 seconds left. 10 seconds to go. Almost done. Let's see if everybody can get those arms up and hold it. Hold it. Four, six seconds now. Five, four, hold them up there. Three, two, and done. Nice job. And that's a wrap on four rounds today, everybody. Four rounds down, great job. Have that little sip of water, get that little stretch, get a little air in. Now, of course, we do still have a finisher. As always, the Fit Fam likes to pack in a punch at the end of the workout. That's what we're talking about. We're gonna finish up strong, yeah? Now, the dips, mountain climbers, and everyone's favorite exercise. Starts with the beat, ends with the herpes. It's gonna go like this. Dips to start. Hold strong right here for your level one. Holding here might be plenty of challenge for you. If you're ready for level two, it's up and down. Slow and controlled. And level three is leg straight out in front of you. Now, if you have any difficulty with that, find a higher surface for the hands. Same exact rule applies. You can go right here, hold it, you can go up and down, or you can straighten up those legs and go up and down. All right, that's exercise one. Exercise two is mountain climbers. You can simply turn around and knee forward and back, knee forward and back, over and over, as fast as you can. You can do this with hands on the ground as well. Either way, that's mountain climbers. Then we go on to your favorite exercise, third base, looks like so. Hands on that ledge, kick back, come up, and jump. Or hands on something lower, same thing. Or of course, hands on the ground, same thing. No push up necessary, we already made up those muscles a lot. Let's get that cardio going now. Here we go, we're gonna start with dips. In four, make that three, two, and one. Let's get to it, we've got dips. Hold strong or go up and down. Let's get to it. We got those dips. Squeeze those triceps. Arms totally locked out straight at the top. Slow back down. The straighter your legs are, the tougher this one gets. Good news. It's only 20 seconds per exercise in this one. 
And in fact, it's time for us. Mountain climbers, let's flip around, turn around. Hands on the ground, doors. Hands on the steps. For hands on a chair. Forward, backward, forward, backward for eight more seconds. We're down to three, two, and burpees. Let's go. As I was saying before, only 20 seconds per exercise. So stay strong for just 10 more seconds now. It's gonna be back to dips in six. Get another one. Maybe time for one more. And dips, here we go. Again, you should feel this one in the triceps and shoulders, back of your arms and shoulders. For three more seconds, it's mountain climbers. In two, one, let's get to it. Mountain climbers, not coming. Ten down, ten to go. We're gonna be on the perk. He's in seven seconds now. Three. Two, one, burpees. Oh, those shoulders. Woo. 12 seconds now. Last round, best rounds coming up in four, three, two, and last round of it. It's starting now. <laughs> Two, one, let's get to it. Last exercise right now. Eight seconds left, keep it up, keep it up. We're down to three, two, one, and done. There you go. Unmute. Hey, uh, tell Austin or Scott, or Scott, to ask her. How are we doing? Woo! Really? Yeah, uh, Brandon just uh, texted me, and I'm like, are you sure? Are you talking to Brandon? Like, yeah, I talked to Brian, I talked to Tony, and they said no, but not, they haven't been given a schedule. Get a good stretch here. There we go. Now that shoulder likes to shrug by your chest. By your chin or by your ear? Take it down. And switch. Other side. While we hold this stretch, actually, I'm going to take you to your next stretch. And then we'll go tip of the day. Hand behind your back. Lift it up and over, and then take your ear to your shoulder, drop that to your chin, your chest. While you're holding the stretch, let me tell you about the tip of the day. The tip is to develop, it looks like we got a little lag, internet connection, here we go. To develop new routines for success during these uncertain and new times. New routines during these new times. Why? I'll explain after we switch. Other side. Pull the hand up and over. Ear to your shoulder. Chin to your chest. All right, so your success is going to be dictated by your routines. What, it's what you do daily that counts what you do consistently, not what you do every once in a while. So if you're struggling to make it on these workouts, find a way to make it consistent. We do this at 9.30 every day for a reason. We do it at 5.30, Monday through Friday, for a reason. 
It's those exact times every day. You carve out that time, you make it a routine, every day you do it. That's what's gonna make you successful. And you should do that with the rest of your things too. Morning routines, to workouts, to what time you go to the store and all that stuff. All carved out in, uh, in structured format. All right, let's get one more stretch. We're gonna go hand to the shoulder, grab the elbow and pull back and stretch out the lats. So again, routine equals success. As long as you have a successful routine and that includes working out. I don't know about you guys, actually, I do know about you guys, but I know about myself as well, which is I feel a hundred times better after a workout, no matter what, whether it's I was feeling a level zero, it'll take me up to a level four. If I was feeling a level four before the workout, it'll take me up to a level eight. I was already feeling a level eight today coming into the workout, now I feel like a level 10. Let's switch other side. And that helps me get through the rest of the day. So making sure this is a staple part of your day is key. I know I'm preaching to the choir, but if anyone needs that message, I hope it has landed on the right ears, and I also hope that you guys share that message with your friends and family. Help other people get through these tough times. Their workouts matter so much. All right, if you wanna do any more workouts or any more stretches, be my guest, that's up to you after, after time, but here we go. What we're gonna do is bring it on in now. We're gonna bring it in together, and also, I'll be sticking around for a few minutes afterwards to answer any questions if you guys have questions. Otherwise, let's bring it in as a fit fan. Come in. <laughs> there we go, hands in. It's gonna be Armageddon on three, one, two, three. Armageddon. Armageddon. I see Sally. That arm, that's good. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Randy. See you, Jam. See you, Sabrina. Bye. Thank you, guys. See you, Kathy. Bye, Sarah and Bye. Star Wars. Okay, how do you get out of here? Okay. All right. Can you stop recording? Okay, I need one. Can I add? All right. Good job today.